Hey guys, Shredder James, bring you guys a kind of sad video today um, about me announcing that I'm foreclosing the Scandinavian Let's Play um, um, for, for a couple reasons. Um, the main reason is because um, I think the camp... Well, there's actually a couple reasons, but let me, let me just go from the beginning. Basically, I started this Let's Play just after I just got in the game, literally, I just got the game, and I started this Let's Play. I had no idea what I was doing, I had no idea how EU4 worked. In fact, the only information I've ever gotten from EU4 is from other YouTubers, who I periodic periodically watch to try to get the best starts, the best stats, and the best everything. So I never actually, and I did have a little bit of experience with EU3, but as anyone will tell you, EU4... It's like its own special little jungle of spears and diplomacy and economics. It's its own world in EU3. But I did have a kind of basic under-knowledge of it. So, you know, I went into this game, you know, doing my thing, and I tried to test some things out. You know, try testing out different concepts, different things, and I really, <laughs> I really should have looked at a lot of what was happening in the game and probably should have looked on the wiki a little bit more. I would admit that right now, I probably should have looked a lot at the wiki, <laughs> much more. I probably would have made this game a little bit more uh, homogeneous, but... Um, yeah, basically with me just doing this trial and error and not being really experienced with the game, I made a lot of mistakes. Like, of course, my biggest, I think my first biggest mistake was probably when I spent like three years, I think it was, just waiting for myself to get enough admin tech, or not admin tech, enough uh, time so I could form Scandinavia. Thus, real, then realizing that it was actually, I had to wait till I was admin tech level 10 before I could do that. You know, that's just one of the examples, but, you know. It kind of shows that I did not really understand this game enough to do it. And it created a kind of bad base or a bad splinter in my mouth for the future planes. I mean, I did get progressive, I think I did get progressively better, and I have looked up more and more of this stuff, like, I know how trade steering now works, I know how, you know, the HRE works better. Um, I, I now know the benefits of keeping, of being a Catholic nation and staying within the Catholicism way of life. Uh, I also know about diplomacy a little bit better. I know about a lot more than what I did. So, you know, with that, I think... In my own opinion, I think I've kind of spoiled this Let's Play to the point where it's, you know, kind of a little bit unplayable. Well, I mean, it's still playable. I mean, I can still play this in my free time, but to actually watch it and enjoy it, I think I kind of ruined that for you guys. Um, like for instance, I've kind of noticed that in my dealings with the European powers, I've kind of realized that I've become the weakest nation out of all the great powers. I mean, legally it says I'm like the eighth power in the world. And legally it says in the ledger, um, my force limit or total force limit is in the top, oh gosh, I'm in like top six right now. How does Melwar beat me? <sighs> okay, well before I made this video, I was in like the top three. But realistically speaking, I was really like right about here. Or right about there as they're saying it. And it's really, it's really like I'm right about here because, um, while I may have a gigantic army, I have it so decentralized around the world and so, like, protecting different areas. I may mean, have 21, 16, 16 over there in the new world, and then I have 5, 4, and I know I have a stack, a stack of 11 over here in Africa. You know, just spread out. My army is very decentralized, so when it comes to fighting wars, it is very difficult. In fact, right now, the Hansa, if they really wanted to, they could probably destroy my forces. Well, they'd have to really attack on a good day, but if they really wanted to, they could come in and destroy my forces without really much care, and I wouldn't be able to do much. I'm just going to start that just because I want to, but, um, yeah. You know, that that's just an exa that, that's just an example of that, you know. I kind of, my, like I said, I tried taking chances for a lot of things, and it did not work out, 
And another example is the tech. Like, the technological advancements of this game, I should have been, like, the leader of the world. I mean, I have the most land, I have one of the biggest armies in the world, a quote-unquote biggest armies. I should be, like, the leader. When you look on the ledger, though, actually, I'm one of the, like, worst nations in the world. In fact, it looks like once Austria is formed, it's going to be, like, the power. I mean, France will still be a power, too, but Austria looks like it's going to be the power. And the rest of the world is falling behind. In fact, even Muscovy, who's of Eastern Tech group, is better than me. You know, that just proves to me that I think... I, I mean, that honestly should not have happened, first of all. And that just honestly proves to me that I need to, like, you know, back off on this game and just restart it. Or, you know, not restart it, but just bring it to a close. Because I don't think it's going to be fun for you guys. And you guys can post in the comments, of course, if you guys disagree with me. Of course, I always, always like different opinions. Point out right now, I always love different opinions. So guys, don't feel free to just say, James, you are a hard mother beep. I can't actually curse on YouTube, but you guys get what I mean. And you should have continued this Let's Play without any contingency. But, yeah. I think I'm going to bring this Let's Play to a close, so, you know, yeah, I mean, for goodness sakes, we're not even in the top, like, top trading power, or the top trade nodes, I mean, our trade node is, uh, well, we have our current trade power, is pretty good, but it's only, like, value 16, while, if you look at the, this is, this is just a side note, this, if you look at the other value in trade nodes, it's, like, way better, but, in fact, the Chesapeake one is just, like, only there to transport other people's trade power. Even though we own most of it. Thank you, Manhattan. Wah ha 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 ha. But yeah. Um, I think basically, like I said, it's. I, I just made too many mistakes in this Let's Play to continue on anymore. And I think the recent episode shows I made another big mistake. So, I, just due to my own ineptitude, I'm gonna end the series. But I don't think it's. It's not like these are. I should also mention, this isn't like the fun mistakes, like this isn't like, oh yeah, he made that kind of mistake, ooh, I can't wait to see what's happened next. No, it's the kind of mistakes where you guys get mad and you're like, no, you really should not have done that, that's kind of stupid, uh, don't want to watch it. And that brings you to the final point and the final kind of conclusion why I'm not doing this, or really don't want to do this anymore, is the fact that I don't really, you guys can argue me this, but it seems like to me, you guys really aren't that interested or really don't want to see this series anymore on the channel um i mean you guys really don't speaking of which i should probably start saying guys and girls because it's been like <laughs> it's kind of funny both like half of my 10 percent of my viewership right now is female so i don't know how that happens but guy I, i'll start saying guys and girls guys and girls you both just want to you both don't seem like you're very interested in the series, and you don't really want to go into the series, which ego makes me not want to go into the series, which ego makes, you know, this kind of unfun. I mean, it was only kind of getting unfun for me just to notice all my mistakes in the past, but then the fact that, you know, there isn't, there isn't really much point in doing the series, because not even you guys really like it, it just kind of proves to me that I'm going to have to end the series, and I'm one of those kind of people that doesn't want to end the series by just discontinuing it. Although I have done that for a couple different series, but um, this one, since it was such a long series and since it was, you know, viewed by so many people, I had to do a proper episode to put it on close so you guys know I'm done doing this. Okay? Um, but just to bring it all into a good silver lining, um, in this Let's Play, we did accomplish many goals. I mean, we did accomplish our goals of forming Scandinavia, inherent a little bit a little bit awkward because I didn't know how to actually form it, and we also colonized New Vineland. Vineland. Ah, you guys forgot, I forgot about that name, didn't you? Ah, I still remembered. I still remembered. So, it was a great campaign overall, and I will never forget this game was purchased, was given to me by Paradox. It wasn't. I did not buy it. I did not, you know, purchase it on Steam, but they literally gave it to me. So. Like I said, I'm internally grateful for them, and I didn't realize until after I started the series and like episode 30, when I realized that their hometown was Scandinavia, or home nation was Sweden, not Scandinavia, sorry guys, Sweden. When I realized that, I was like, oh 
my goodness, I, I guess in another way I also honored them by playing their home country first, instead of any other nation, so, you know. Just good all of all, I have nothing to say to Paradox Step, you guys are the best, and, you know, great, great game you guys created, and, you know, this was a great, in all, in all honesty, this was a good campaign. Even, even with all its flaws and faults and failings, it was still a good campaign to watch, and I'm just happy to bring it to a close, and hope you guys, you know, enjoyed the series for as long as it lasted, and I, yeah, we had fun, guys. So, with the final king being who? Who's the final king? It's King Call X Ribbling. We will end the series with a bang. So I will now exit to the menu. So you guys may see my stats. Most provinces, third highest province value, sixth highest income, 13 highest trade value. Wow, I really stung at trade value. And then here's all our kings. You know, we had, this guy did a lot. <laughs> But Adolf did a lot. I mean, we had a lot of good kings in our days. Um, then we had, this was a time when we had like many different kings that just kept dying every single day. And then the final conclusion of King, I mean, King Call X. From King Call X all the way down to Chris, no, not that guy. Not that guy. It wasn't that guy. It was this guy. King Call the, the Eighth, I think that is. From him all the way to King Call the X. I like to beat you guys adieu. My final score was... Right up there with Denmark, I was almost about to pass the original Sweden, but apparently Destiny did not permit me to do that, so I have seven ideal, I finished out two different ideology groups, was working on my economics and expansion, and, you know, do have a little bit of overextension, and didn't quite maximize my troop count. Uh, had one of the worst fleets in the world, like seriously, I should have been focusing on that, but... I think that's definitely something I'm going to have to work on, and I guess with that, we end the game, guys.